Thunder here to... defend the home court playing host to the Eastern Conference. Clark, this is the first they're seeing of Boston. They controlled everything in both games last year going 2-0. and Well, they were the better team when these two teams got together a year ago, no question. Uh, sweeping the season series 2-0. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Arjan Rondo and Avery Bradley out there in the backcourt. Bass and KG, the big ticket, patrol the inside. And it's Pierce in at the three, the small forward. And for the Thunder, Kevin Durant, Serge Ibaka, and Kendrick Perkins, their front court trio. Russell Westbrook out there with Martin. It makes you wonder how the standings might look if some of these teams, you know, actually changed conferences. Well, Kevin, I think it'd be a whole new world, a totally different world, a whole new set of matchups. But at least everybody gets a couple of games a year to check everybody else out up close. Six on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Here's Rondo. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. Well, it was the Boston Celtics, their last game a loss to the Philadelphia 76ers. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Now here's Rondo. Back to Pierce. over Westbrook. Pierce could. Nice way for him to get started here early. And guys, hopefully a sign of things to come from him here. For three, Durant. That doesn't go either for Durant. Still can't get anything going here after three tries. Now let's send it over to Doris Burke who was able to talk with Scott Brooks. He talked about how they match up with a player like Paul Pierce, saying, you know, he's one of those guys who really does it all at a high level. Defend, score, you name it. I think defensively, we may look to double some and force other players to make shots. He's one of the greats. You enjoy the challenge of playing against him and just hope you can have enough to win. Guys, we'll see who carries the day. All right, Doris, thanks. Second free throw, no good. Looking at Oklahoma City, they want to turn it around after the loss to Dallas. Durant for three. Again, Durant missing. Yeah, he's struggled with his shot this quarter, and he's got to find a groove somehow. The shot by Pierce will not go. So far, just 20% shooting coming out of the gate. Here's Ibaka. Got it from 16 feet. Boy, he really used his height there. He sure did, Steve. I mean, a nice touch on that shot. Rondo dishes to Pierce. On the high post, he drills it. Pierce has got his second bucket of the night. Westbrook against Rondo. Westbrook passes to Ibaka, and that one's good. And defensively, you want to keep the ball as far away from the hoop as possible. Yeah, because he's too good inside, Steve. I mean, he'll make you pay every time in there. Now here's Rondo. He gathers, and it's blocked by Ibaka. And it's slammed in by Garnett. The Thunder have gone 2 of 6 in the field. Pierce against Durant. Right side, Durant. Perkins kicks to Westbrook. Second shot opportunity. And the shot is good. Westbrook's got his first points of the game. Boy, is he spitting polished offensive. His ability to break down defense is one of their driving forces. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. You know, he wants to tinker a little bit, and he's taking the time to do so right here. Yeah, I think you're right. He just didn't like some of the things he saw out there. A bit uncomfortable and wanted to talk it over. Well, for Kevin Durant, it was a terrific season. Let's look at his numbers last season. First in scoring, and he was very solid from the foul line, closing out the year among the top 20 in terms of free throw percentage. And Steve, as you mentioned, I mean, he set the standard offensively with more points than any other player in the league. I mean, a really remarkable season for him. 
Here's what Boston's going with right now. Selinger's checked in for Garnett. Green comes in for Brandon Bass. And it's Terry in for Avery Bradley. Well, Rondo's one of the best defensive players in the league, guys, and it's because of those long arms. He has a 6'11 wingspan. He's incredibly fast, quick hands, so all he has to do is anticipate and just kind of get into the teeth of the offense, and you know he's going to force a lot of turnovers. And in general, he's just the little things are the big things kind of player. A fantastic rebounder for a guard who's good for a handful of triple doubles a season and knows where to be in any given situation. I love his poise and confidence out there. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for Rajon Rondo. Oklahoma City trailing. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Over Pierce. And it's Durant that time on the assist by Westbrook. Celtics have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. One oh five left to play in the first quarter. Terry outside. The shot misses. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. And Jared Sullinger picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Kevin Garnett has checked in for Boston. Hondo comes in for Avery Bradley. Right now, he's in a bit of a funk. I look for them to look at other options on offense. Green, 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 green. Rondo with the ball. Pass to Garnett. Down to five on the shot clock. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. And this is why you need size inside, the ability to contest shots and force misses. Steve, that's exactly right. Even when you get in close, it's still a tough shot. Martin kicks to Ibaka, so they take the lead. Ibaka's got six points. You know, the defense has to prevent the ball from getting down into that area if they're going to be successful, guys. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Feeds it to Durant. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Way too loose on that inbounds pass. Here's Rondo. And he beat the buzzer. But it's no good. A good hook. Always a pleasure to have you with us. The season officially underway. And when you consider how the Thunder are doing, Steve Clark, what do you think? And I thought the defense was key here for this club. They really tightened up and made it difficult on their opponent. How about the help on the drives and rotations? I mean, they've really been in sync as a unit. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Terry is the two with Paul Pierce at the three. Brandon Bass is out there with Green, and it's Rondo in at the one spot. Durant for three. Outside for Jackson. Outside Durant. There's the triple. They get it again. Jackson dishes to Cephalosha. Scooped up. The beat kicks to Cephalosha. Puts up a three. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Well, the Celtics shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. Green, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. And the Thunder with some changes. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Hashim Fabit. Martin comes in for Kevin Durant. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Tabo Cephalosha. And then for Boston, Kevin Garnett. He's checked in for Bass. Sellinger comes in for Paul Pierce. And it's Avery Bradley in for Rajon Rondo. And Ibaka kicks to Westbrook. Shoots over Bradley. They retain possession. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Westbrook with the steal. Gives him the lead pass. Here's Jackson. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got three assists in the game. 
You know, Kevin, they were a step late on their defensive rotation, and that helped them get right to the rim. Now, here's Brent looking for his first bucket of the game. Six to shoot. And the pass to Green over Jackson. Snatched up. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That's his first foul. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Nick Collison. The Celtics also changing it up. Brandon Bass is checked in for Garnett. Pierce comes in for Jeff Green. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Jason Terry. Hey, close up on Avery. Yes. Now here's Brent. It's Pierce on the wing. to Bradley passes it to Bass from down in the low post it goes they're doing much better now I mean in the first quarter they converted less than 30% of their field goal they've bounced back nicely here here's Jackson gets the bucket three straight buckets in the paint they're making it look effortless well, speaking of effortless, you'd like to see a little more out of the defense. Huh? How about trying, guys? Tipped. Bradley, he's covered by Westbrook. Bradley passes to Bass. He kicks to Sullinger. The kick out to Pierce. The three. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. Now let's take a look at how Oklahoma City ranked in the league last year. First in blocks, first in free throw percentage, and they were ranked third in team scoring. This team knows how to score the ball, entertaining at the offensive end. And the thing that really jumps out at me when you talk about all those stats, Clark, is the blocks, because number one in the league, obviously really protecting the paint. They had good length, a lot of depth, and the, the overall team defense, the rotations, was really solid because we saw players across their roster blocking shots. Covered by Cephalosha. And the call will be against Kevin Martin. That's foul number two for him. That's foul number two, and I think he's got to be really careful not to pick up the third before the half. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Addition out to Green. And stolen by Perkins. Great reflexes to get a hand on that pass and go the other way with it. Outside Rondo. And there's the feed to Bass. He's covered by Westbrook. Puts it up. And finished off by Bass. And you really don't want to give up too many dunks like that. One is too many. Oh, yeah. No, certainly you're right. You know, that's making it way too easy for sure. Yeah. Major breakdown defensively. They've got to tighten things up here. For the Thunder, Hashim Thabit comes in for Kendrick Perkins. And Nick Collison subbed in for Kevin Durant. Kevin Garnett, he's checked in for Boston. And here's Rondo following Russell Westbrook's three. Rondo dishes to Green. Terry outside. Just five on the clock. 18 feet out. Again, the Celtics good for two. Oklahoma City trailing. They'll be off next to Utah for a meeting with the Jams. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Seven-second difference. Shot and game clock. Outside, Rondo deflects the pass. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. A shot by Terry. And it's Boston with another. He's found a rhythm here in this second quarter, guys. He looks good. Westbrook kicks to the beat. Cephalosha. But they'll get another chance. And they're going to have to make sure they box out here. Don't give up any second chance points. And that's just too easy. I mean, to rebound effectively, everybody's got to do their part. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. Martin attacking. No one. And we're through two here and a good one. 
And welcome back. 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. What a season in store for us. Without question, Serge Ibaka displaying his skills today. Yeah, he's done a great job of finding the soft spots in that defense. Very efficient game for him so far. Yeah, and I like what he's done, Steve. I mean, he's made a couple of jumpers here or there, but what he's really done impressively is allow the game to come to him. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Thunder. Duran is out there with Nick Collison. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then there's Hashim Thabit. And it's Martin in at the two-guard spot. Soft defense right there. Way too soft. It's stolen by Rondo. Kicks to Bradley. And the call will be against Kevin Martin. That's his third foul of the game. On defense, the Thunder. A two-point game. Bradley kicks to Garnett. Back to Bradley. Shot clock at six. Dishes it to Garnett. The jump hook. And good on the basket. Book it. Garnett's got six points. The defense that time didn't do quite enough. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to stop him when he gets in tight. And it's Rondo penetrating. And Fabit sends it back. Durant for three. Gets it to go. Durant's got his third bucket of the night. You know, no matter what you do with Durant defensively, nothing bothers him. You, you try to be physical with him, you know, that's probably your best bet. But that's easier said than done because he can get around you with that speed and quickness. Uh, but really what he's looking to do is create space and shoot over the top. And you've just highlighted a lot of what he has from a skill standpoint. But it's his demeanor, that unflappable nature, that always in attack mode. He's got the quick release. He's got the size to shoot over most of any defender. And uh, he can go for buckets in a hurry. He's streaky, but he's efficient as well as effective for long stretches. He's special. Back to Pierce. He's covered by Westbrook. Pierce against Westbrook. Pierce kicks to run. He feeds it to Bradley. Over Westbrook. And Bradley gets it to go. Bradley's got his first points of the night. Good start for this offense. They're shooting three of four now from the field. So offense in a good groove. Check out the game for Durant. He's got 11 points. The nine of his points have come from the three-point line. Mark, he's got a very confident stroke going right now. Some changes for Boston. Selinger's checked in for Garnett. Green comes in for Brandon Bass. And it's Terry in for Avery Bradley. Now here's Rondo. Outside Pierce. He passes to Selinger. Puts the lead pass in front of him. And it's Green with the jam. The one-handed flush. Very nice. A nice strong finish there. Mm, just punched it home. Well, let's take a look at where Boston ended up, Kevin, last year in the league ranking. Second in assists. Fifth in field goal percentage. They showed up in the top five in free throw shooting. This is a team that took advantage of getting to the line. And the key really to that club, in my mind, was the, the offensive unselfishness. This was a team, as you mentioned, Clark, that, that finished in the top five in assists per game. So it was the fact that they, they really shared the ball. They had good ball movement and a good plan of attack all season long. Selinger passes to Green. For three, Durant. And yes, sir, that one drops. Durant's got 16. And defensively, guys, they've lost something since halftime. I mean, they've given up open looks. They've got to buckle down and get some stops here. Play with some urgency. Now here's Rondo. Here's Garnett. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. That's now eight points for Garnett. You know, it is really hard to miss shots that close to the basket. Now here's Selinger. He's guarded close. Help out, help out. Outside Rondo. He dishes it to Garnett. 
It's the clock winding down. And again, it's Boston converting. Guys, we're not through three quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, it's been a really good game for sure. I mean, it looks like it's going to stay tight throughout. Yeah, very competitive action. I agree with you, Clark. I mean, this one could come down in the last few minutes the way it looks. The Thunder shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Brandon Bass has checked in for Zellinger. Pierce comes in for Jeff Green. And it's Avery Bradley in for Rajon Rondo. Now here's Pierce. Terry dishes to Garnett. Over Martin. And again, Kevin Garnett. Garnett's got 10 points in just the second half. Finally getting into rhythm here in the game after that cold first half. Fires from 14. And that one's good to Rant. And the Thunder lead by one. This has all been about him this quarter. I mean, their lead is safe if he keeps up this kind of play. Defense, defense, and there's Terry. Defense, defense, over Westbrook. Got it off in time, but it's no good. It's still anybody's game. And for the Celtics, they're shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. On the court right now for the Celtics. Bradley and Pierce fill out the wings. Green is out there with Jared Sellinger. And it's Rondo in at the point guard. It's stolen by Ibaka. And now it's Cephalosha running. He can go. Oh, oh get it! Oh, oh, oh. Watch out now! Oh, oh, oh. What a game. This is really fun to watch. And when games are tight like this, I mean, success or failure can really turn on small details and one or two plays. For three, Pierce. The Thunder leading by three. Durant attacking from outside the arc. The rebound by Pierce. And here's Boston. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That's foul number two for him. Also, Westbrook in for the Thunder. The Celtics also changing it up. Kevin Garnett, he's checked in for Zellinger. Pass comes in for Jeff Green. And it's Terry in for Rajon Rondo. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Here is Durant. Beyond the arc. They get it back. Cephalosia kicks to West. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. Final quarter of play. About a minute and a half off the clock into it. He hasn't been one of their key guys tonight. But uh, they are still winning despite his lack of production. Durant for three. Gets it to go. And it's a six-point Thunder lead. Boy, they have just gone crazy from three-point range since coming out of the halftime break. Boy, it's been one three after another, Steve. An absolute hurrah. Offensive rebound. And it's slammed in by Garnett. You know, once he corralled that rebound, he was in just the right spot to power it back down. You could see it coming, too, couldn't you? Yeah. I mean, there's no way that was going to be a simple little putback. He saw the angle, and he gave it a little something extra. And the Thunder making a change here. Martin's checked in. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Yes, Kevin, during that break, Coach Scott Brooks had some words for his team. He was absolutely adamant, saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. Yeah, and he's been a player who always saves his best for last, Kevin. Absolutely thrives under pressure. And, you know, when some guys back down with the game coming down to the wire, he seems to be the one to take it up and knock. Very true, Steve. I mean, he's also one of those guys who doesn't take long at all to get on a roll offensively. 
He's a fun player to watch when he gets hot. Celtics trailed by five. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. It's Terry outside. Thunder with the rebound. Durant's got his third rebound tonight. Leads him in there. Perkins, the pass to Durant. That's good. Durant's got eight here in the quarter. After what was just a horrendous shooting performance in the first half, they finally started to find their stroke. It's amazing to think they actually have the lead here, Clark, given how poorly they played in the first half. They really didn't shoot well, but you know what? They're starting to stick it out. They're finding their way in this game. I like that one-handed spike right there. Yeah, that's how it's done. Yes, sir. -ree. Yeah, he's not going to miss many of those. Celtics trailed by five. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Feeds to Bass. Garnett outside. Here's for three. Scooped up. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. And that'll be his third foul so far. And the Celtics making a change here. Ando's checked in. The pass to Bass. And there's the three-second violation. The Thunder leading by five. Westbrook drives in. Oh, oh my. Hammer time. Wow. Hammer time. Did you see that? Oh, we got to see that one again, guys. We've got to see that yeah, again. I, I need a replay. I, I, I'm not sure what I just looked at. And that's going to be tough here, Clark. You know, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they need some big plays to steal this one. Hondo dishes to Bradley. Pierce. The Celtics working the ball around now. Five to shoot. And it's Rondo penetrating. Deflected. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Well, as a coach, that kind of turnover just drives you nuts. And that's because it should never happen, Steve. I mean, it just should Jason Terry has checked in for Paul Pierce. Westbrook gets a screen from Perkins. There's 38 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Perkins with a screen on run. Westbrook kicks to Mark. He got right to the cup using that screen. And that should definitely do it. Now it's starting to get out of hand. Yeah, they're not just running to the finish line. They're running through the finish line right here. They're piling it on a bit. Now here's Terry. And it's Rondo penetrating. Dishes it to Bass. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Here is Durant. Off the inbound pass. Gets it to go. And the Thunder lead by 10. Not much drama left in this one, guys. No, it hasn't quite exactly been a nail-biter. I mean, it's going to be a great win for them, though. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. And this one was such a...